The Kuli Beger movement was a non-violent movement by the general public of Kamaon in the Bageshwar town of United Provinces in 1921. This movement was led by Badri Dat Pandi, who was awarded the title of Kumaon Kesari after the success of this movement. The aim of this movement was to put pressure on the British to end the practice of Kuli Beger. Mahatma Gandhi, while praising the movement, named it Bloodless Revolution. Introduction and reasons Kuli Beger referred to the law requiring locals of the hill regions of Kamaon to provide free transportation for the luggage of travelling British officials. It was the responsibility of the village head of different villages, to make available a certain number of coolies for a certain period. For this work, there was a regular register, in which the names of all the villagers were written and everyone was forced to do this work alternately. The dissatisfaction between the public, due to the collusion of the village heads, the landlords and the patwaris, and the discrimination between the people increased as the head and patwari of the village started promoting this virtue to get rid of their personal interests. Sometimes, people were also forced to do extremely disgusting things. Such as picking up garbage or washing clothes for the British etc. The locals were being exploited by the British physically and mentally. Eventually, people started to unite to protest against this. History The Chand rulers, during their reign, initiated attacks related to horses in the state. It was possibly the earliest form of the Kuli Beger exploitation. This practice took a widespread form of governance under the rule of Gorkhas. Though the British ended it initially, they gradually not only reinforced this system, but brought it to its formidable form. Earlier this was not on the general public, but on those salaried farmers who used to collect tax from the landowners or collectors. Hence, this practice directly influenced those tenants who owned land. But the reality was that these rich landlords and jurists had imposed their parts of slavery on landless farmers, laborers and weak sections of society who accepted it as conditional remuneration. Thus, this practice continued, despite the opposition of local people. <laughs> <laughs> Background During the Indian Rebellion of 1857, Haldwani, that was the gateway to the Kumaon area, was seized by the rebels of Rohilkhand. Though the British succeeded in crushing the rebellion in its infancy itself, the tension of suppression of that time sporadically flared into different forms of resistance from time to time. There was also a dissatisfaction with the British's exploitation of the forests of Kumaon. Kuli Beger was made mandatory for the residents of Kumaon Division in 1913. It was opposed everywhere. Badri Dat Pandi led the movement in Almora, while other leaders like Anasua Prasad Bahaguna and P.T. Govind Balab Pant also played an active role in the movement in Garhwal and Kashapur, respectively. Through his Almora Akbar, Badri Dat Pandi started protesting against this evil. In 1920, the annual convention of the Congress was held in Nagpur. Several leaders, including P. T. Govind Balab Pant, Badri Dat Pandi, Har Gobind Pant, Victor Mohan Joshi, Shyam Lal Shah, etc., attended the session to take the blessings of Mahatma Gandhi for the Kuli Beger movement. When they came back, they started raising awareness against this evil. <laughs> movement On 14 January 1921, on occasion of the Uttarayani Fair, this movement was initiated from the grounds of confluence Bagad of Saryu and Gomati. Before the commencement of this movement, a notice was issued by the district magistrate to P.T., Hargobind Pant, Lala Kairanjalal and Badri Dat Pandi, but it had no effect on them. To participate in this movement, people from different villages came out to the fair ground, and turned it into a huge show. The people first went to the Bagnath temple to offer prayers, and then about 40,000 people went to Saryu Bagad, in front of the procession carrying a flag, with the words, End the Kuli Beger. After that, there was a meeting in Saryu ground, Badri Dat Pandi, while addressing the gathering, took an oath saying, Taking the water of the sacred Saryu, and with the Bagnath temple as a witness, we pledge that we will not tolerate Kuli Utar, Kuli Beger and Kuli Berdiash anymore. 
All the people took this oath and the village heads who had brought the record registers with them, flung these registers into the confluence while raising slogans in praise of Bharat Mata. The then deputy commissioner of Almora district was also present in the crowd. Though he wanted to open fire on the crowd, he had to step back due to the lack of police force. Aftermath After the success of this movement, people gave the title of Kumon Kesari to Badri Dat Pandi. People not only supported the movement but also strictly followed it and continued to protest against this practice. The result was that the government was forced to end the tradition by bringing a bill in the house. Mahatma Gandhi was very impressed with this movement and paid a visit to Bhageshwar and Kazani himself in 1929. He also established a Gandhi ashram in Chananda. After this, Gandhiji wrote about this movement in Young India stating, its effect was complete, it was a bloodless revolution. <laughs> Notes <laughs>